In this video we will cover loading asset packs, placing objects, selecting objects, transforming an object while it's on your tooltip, and the toolbar object placement tools. Let's start by first loading the gray box kit that comes with AGF. This kit has many primitive shapes that you can use to mock up levels and maps. The green unlocked icons mean that these assets are free of copyright and you can use them in your levels that you can later load into Unity. Some assets you will find have red locked icons. These assets can be used in your scenes but they will not be imported into Unity. Let's select the first asset in the first container and float it over the viewport. If I tap the F key, you will see that the view of the camera will fit itself to the scale of the asset. As I roll my middle mouse button, the next asset in the container will be displayed. I can continue to tap the F key to refit the camera to the asset size. Let's place this asset on the map, but let's first make sure that its size will match the grid settings. I can see that the asset is a 5 meter cube. I can also see that the grid is set to 5 meters. By tapping the Z or Z key one time, I will turn on the grid snapping to fit the guidelines. This allows me to quickly place the cubes and I know that they are snapping to fit properly to each other. Notice how AGF uses the colliders of the asset to allow you to place the cubes on top of each other. By tapping the tab key while I'm floating a cube over another, it will place the build grid at that height. Tapping the tab key will set the height of the build grid to whatever height the cursor or asset is located. By selecting the Select Object Tool icon, I can individually select the objects by clicking on them. I can also click and drag to select many objects. This alternating local or global button toggles the snapping of the selected assets. Click and drag on the different parts of the 3D gadgets to transform the selection. Before you place an object, you can transform the object while it is still on your tooltip. While holding down the control key, roll the middle mouse button up and down you'll see the object scale. Tapping the spacebar will change the transform state. Once an asset is transformed on your tooltip, all other assets will inherit that transformation. Combine these techniques to create interesting structures. To reset the transforms of an asset on your tooltip, tap the R key. Go to drop down special start locator to get a start locator and place it onto your structure. Select the play button and the internal ARPG player. To jump the character to a location, tap the space bar. Click the escape key to go back to the world builder. The next thing I'd like to show you are some of the object placement tools that are available in object mode. Select the object mode icon. From the warehouse, select this asset. Place the asset onto your map. From the tools that are available in the object mode, select the Grow Placed Object icon. Each time you click the icon, the placed asset will replicate like this. Place another instance of that asset. Tap the Tab key so you can offset the placement of the next asset. Next click on this Repeat Placed Asset icon. Each time you click it will repeat the offset. Repeat the process like you see here. You can also repeat the action by tapping the G key. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.